Here is an arithmetic problem, 660 times 310. I'm gonna give this exercise to Bart. So the product of 660 and 310 is 204,600. But what if I perturb these inputs a little bit? Instead of assigning this multiplication exercise, I could have assigned this multiplication exercise, 664 times 311. Let's give this to somebody else. Hi, my name is Vedrana. So 664 times 311 is 206,504, which isn't so far off of the answer that Bart got when he multiplied 660 times 310 and got 204,600. So look at this. We've got two different problems. The inputs to these multiplication problems are similar. The outputs are also similar. Let's do some more very similar multiplication problems. Hello, my name is Sean Corey. Oh, this is great. Look, 204,600, 206,504, 206,926, 204,702. We multiplied all of these pairs of nearby numbers, and the result of the multiplications were also nearby. There's a limit lesson hiding in all of this. If the limit of f of x as x approaches a is l, and the limit of g of x as x approaches a is m, then the limit of f of x times g of x as x approaches a is equal to l times m. In other words, the limit of the product is the product of the limits provided those limits exist. Mm -hmm.